Hello, everybody. <coughs> this is Yoko Anime Reactions, and um, as you could probably tell by the title, this is something new. Now, unlike all the other shows that I have picked up, besides uh, Cells at Work Code Black, and maybe a couple of others I can't remember, this is still ongoing. Very ongoing, to the point that it only has two episodes in the dub right now. There are eight episodes in total. There's only two in the dub right now. I've gotten one of them done. So this will be a while. But it's only going to be... Oh, Dr. Stone, that season two was another one. But yeah, this is going to be... I think a decent, ep I think a decent show, to be completely honest. Because it's another isekai, but it's a different take on an isekai. Was there another show like this? I don't know. Let me know in uh, the comments if I've picked up a show like this. Where they don't do things the traditional way. They don't use magic or anything. But he uses like uh, basic modern day stuff. Like balancing budgets and all that other, all the other stuff essentially. <coughs> Dang it. What was the main character's name? I don't even remember. Even remember, I'm tired. Oh my god, last night was awful. And um, you're probably gonna hear it in my next Akashic video, I think. No, not the next one, the one after. Because I haven't uploaded um, the next video that has three episodes, and there's gonna be two, two more videos after that. They both have two. So, yeah, last night was awful. I had to close. I actually closed early by myself because my coworker never showed up. And I was supposed to have a 30 minute break last night and my, you know, my dinner, obviously, because I was working from 3 to 10. Because it's a 7 hour shift, so I was automatically elected to have a 30 minute break. She never showed up. So, I got home about 8 8 30 somewhere around there my brother was about to leave to go find some food because you know my store was closed and he was going to go up there to get food but he couldn't so he was going to go out and get food i told him please get me some food i'll text you what i want he forgot i was so ticked off to the point i don't know if it was just everything that has happened lately this summer you know with having to watch the kids all the time all the work and everything and it just all accumulated but it i just started crying it ticked me off that essentially he forgot I had to go without food the whole time and essentially he tried to give me his leftovers. I'm like, I don't want your stupid leftovers. I wanted my own food. I didn't want to cook. I didn't want to heat anything up. I didn't want anything like cereal. I just wanted something that was already made that I didn't have to do anything for because I was tired. But yeah, it was just... It was just awful. I don't know if that was my breaking point or if that was just like the straw that broke the camel's back or, or if that's the same thing. I don't know. But it was just, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I was tired of, I'm I, technically I am still tired of not getting to do anything I really want to do. Because what I want to do is sit here, record videos, and just just enjoy my time. I haven't been able to do that. Because the kids have been at home. I have to get up in the morning, watch the kids, I might get lucky and record something, but it's full of interruptions because the kids need someone to watch them and need stuff, and I, apparently I'm the only one to do it. My mom gets to go out and do stuff. She gets to go, like, to the pool or whatever, to, you know, work, to tan or whatever. She gets to do what she wants to do. She gets to sleep in. My dad still gets to do stuff that he wants to do when he's not working. Even if he does take care of the kids at times, but there are still days where he does get to do what he wants. I don't. And it sucks. I cannot wait until I move out. Because I'm going to enjoy every last moment of peace and quiet that I have when I do. Because I won't have to deal with the kids. I won't have to deal with all that. I'll just be on my own. More than likely with Travis, 
But still, the better, because he, he's an adult. He knows how to do things on his own and everything. He won't need me for anything, really. Well, you know, for that stuff, anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, enough of my ranting. I just figured I'd let you guys know everything. But, yeah, I think it the reason I had started crying and everything is because I just kept building it up in my head. I was, like, essentially quietly arguing, essentially, in my head that how I was feeling, and it just kept building and building and building until it came out, essentially. But yeah, I actually checked the food that my mom had tried to give me that my brother had, but I was like, nope, this isn't what I would have eaten anyway, even if I had accepted it. No. It was like, like boneless wings, uh, some roast beef looking sandwich something. It was supposed to be from Zach, no, no, what I'm thinking of is not Zaxby's. Uh, it was the, ro the wings, fries, a piece of toast, and apparently a couple of chicken tenders. That was what it was. And I'm like, no, this is not something I would have eaten. And he essentially ate the part that I would have eaten. <sighs> it's just nuts. All I had wanted was some tacos last night. That's all I wanted. And I didn't get it. I actually texted my mom and asked her if she could get it for me after she went to the pool because I don't have to be at work till 5 today. And she texted me asking me what time I had to be at work and I told her that I had to be at 5 but I'm not going to be able to eat anything there because it's a 5 hour shift and if you have ever worked retail you know that if you work, uh, what was it, five and a half hours or less you don't get a meal break. If you work six hours and up, up until seven hours, seven and a half hours, you get a 30 minute break. If you work eight hours or more, you get a half hour, uh, an hour break, sorry. At the very least, that's what Dollar General does. I don't know about everybody else, but anyway, um, yeah, enough of my rantings. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I just had to get that out. I just, that's just how I've been feeling essentially, I don't know how long. Probably since the kids were born, I guess. Because I essentially had to raise the kids. Anyway, and I, I don't want to get another tangent. I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, uh, this show essentially is another isekai where the main character uh, gets transported through a magic summoning through a nut to another world. Obviously, he's a little annoyed at this because he did mention that this was against his will. That he didn't have a choice in the matter. And, um... They essentially summoned him because they were going to give him to, what was it, the Grand Chaos Empire? Because their kingdom, the Grand Chaos Empire, was bordering the Demon Clan's realm because they had demons started showing up and they started invading. And now their area is now bordering the enemy and I don't know what they're planning on doing with him. But they are worried it might be dissection. So instead of doing that... He gets them to go over, the, you know, their budgets for their, all their econ, econ, their whole economy and stuff for everything. So he could try and get them some money to be able to get their kingdom back in line. So that way they can refuse the agreement, uh, giving them that in exchange for, you know, help. Because they couldn't provide financial help. Because of that, so that's why they were going to do the summoning and give it to, and give him to uh, the other kingdom. So he's trying to get them back in strays when it comes to money. That way they can give them the money and work it over long term. So that way they can continue to fi help finance everything and not have to worry about their country going, their people going hungry and everything. Well, the king was very... Uh, Impressed by all this to the point where he abdicated his throne to him and promised his daughter, it, daughter's hand in marriage to him as a result of this. And when his daughter found out, he she thought essentially that you know that it was by force that he had lost his throne and was trying to help. But when he found out what was going on. She went to go talk to him, and it seems as though they are getting along decently well. And I am curious as to how this show is going to go, because this is a different take on, you know, defending the world against the enemy and everything. Because usually that's with magic and fighting and some diplomacy, but still. Yeah, this is something completely different. 
Let me know what you guys think of this, because this is a new show, obviously, because it's obviously still going. Or rather, it just started. On the dub, anyway. And if you guys like it, and you found my channel through this show, I'd recommend subscribing, because I'm gonna work my way through this show, and there are tons of other shows on my channel, if you are interested, that you might actually find something you like. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm sorry for unloading on you guys like that. I apologize. I just needed to unload to somebody on it that wasn't family because I didn't want them to think I was, you know, ungrateful for everything because I'm living here almost rent free. And yeah, I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.